So I went to my surgery appointment to consult with the surgeon about um, my situation with not pooping or whatever, and um, I guess I I expected um, like I expected to know like you gonna have to have surgery, but like I guess I didn't expect you know the the factual results to be like as basically catastrophic to me as they were. Um, it was just like, I don't know, like seeing the x-ray from some of the tests and stuff, um, you know, it's, it's, it's right there in your face, like the issue. And then it's kind of like reality sets in like, oh God, this is, you know, this is real. There's no more, you know, sweeping it under the rug, trying to deal with it later on kind of thing it's just you know it's that it's there so um anyways so on the sits markers test or whatever it showed that like on the last day i definitely still had i think they said like 48 of those markers like just still chilling like in the upper part of my colon and it's like definitely supposed to be in the rectum or past you know well before then and it, it wasn't so that was you know whatever but and then like on the, the, the x-ray like my colon is like way up here you know it's like a lot higher than what it's supposed to be and she said it was because of my disease or whatever I don't know and you know it's like now like I guess it makes sense because I've been like having really bad like chest pains and everyone was saying like oh it's costochondritis and all sort of stuff and like now I know it's because my colon's not where it's supposed to be or how it's supposed to be and all this other stuff Anyway, so the bottom line was that they scheduled me for surgery to have my entire colon taken out and then to rejoin the small intestines to the rectum. And um, she's going to attempt to do it the laparoscopic way, but, you know, she said there's a percentage, a chance that, you know, it'll have to be a open surgery and then there's the percentage that I'll have a temporary colostomy bag for like three months while everything heals up which is scary to me but you know like right now I'm super nauseous and tired and my stomach hurts and I'm like bloated and I haven't gone to the bathroom and I guess tomorrow I'll be a week and when I did go it was like just hard separate pellets it's just a hard it's just a mess so um anyways I'm hoping that I can hold out until April 3rd If not, you know, I'll just have to call them and let them know. Got to get me in sooner, which is my gut feeling. That's what's going to happen. <sighs> Anyways. So, that's that. We'll see what happens. <laughs>